Last week, India witnessed the festival of biotechnology. We call it as Global India Bio, powered by Bayrak and Association of Biotech Led Enterprises. But this is this festival actually. revealed a lot of insights about the biotech sector and where it is going and in this particular event india bioeconomy 2024 report was revealed so today in this video i'm going to give you a summary of this uh, pdf or this report so that you get to know or get a clarity on what exactly indian biotech scenario is where it is headed and how fast we are growing or how slow we are growing now this report is not compiled by biotechnica it is compiled by bayrak and association of biotech led enterprises so obviously this is a highly in depth document probably if i get the link i will put that in the description you can download otherwise i will just uh, share the pdf which i have okay so to start with uh, the report reveals that india's bio economy has reached 151 billion dollars in 2023 that is last year and this in 2014 was only 10 billion dollars so from 10 billion dollars to 151 billion dollars that's a huge 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 jump in the last 9 years and they're expecting to get to 300 billion dollars by 2030 that's probably 6 years from today now they also have revealed about the bio e3 policy i already made a video about it biotechnology for economy environment and employment now this is a central to biotech uh, e bioeconomic growth and now biotech industry is focusing on how they can become a mass employment generator and the key focus area are sustainability innovation and employment under the bio e3 policy Now the key sectors which saw growth in the last nine years or last I think fifteen years I would say is bio-based chemicals, precision biotherapeutics, smart proteins, and climate resilient agriculture. These these are the key sectors which has grown, and we saw the bio manufacturing sector uh, growing. It played a major role, and it has created a lot of employment, particularly in tier two and three cities. It is also mentioned in the report that the bio economy has accounted for 4.25 percent of the India's total GDP in 2023. Now that's a sizable amount and chunk of the GDP, and it highlights how important the biotech sector is today. Now India's bio economy has grown actually 13 fold. since 2013 in the last 11 years and this is driven by advances in biotechnology agriculture biomanufacturing and healthcare now we are looking at biopharma sector also now growing and bio industrial segments also growing and these two are collectively forming the 83% of the bio economy so what i told you earlier 151 billion dollars 83% of that probably 120 billion dollar is coming only from biopharma and bio industrial sector bio manufacturing sector followed by that it is also mentioned that the bio pharma industry is currently valued at 54 billion dollar to be very precise it is 53.8 billion dollars and they are delivering crucial healthcare solutions innovations such as in vaccines such as in bio pharmaceuticals and uh, diagnostics and bio similars now the bio agri um sector which is agricultural biotechnology sector we call it it is right now at 12.4 billion dollars with significant contributions from genetically modified crops such as bt cotton now the bio industrial sector grew by 23% to 72.6 billion dollar that's huge in 2023 and this is driven by sustainable bio manufacturing practices and bio based solutions so these three sectors together combined is probably 140 billion dollars then we are seeing now the growth of bio it and bio research services which is uh, right now at 12.1 billion dollars remember this 12.1 billion dollar itself can actually expand to the next 180 billion dollars because bioinformatics and ai ml is taking off like anything in india so india's core strength in contract research clinical trials and bioinformatics is helping uh, the bio economy now followed with that of course the vaccine manufacturing is playing a significant role remember we call india as the back house or the back door to the world's vaccine play vaccine stage and it is impacting hugely in the global uh, healthcare industry with india contributing to 24% of the global vaccine supply in 2023 now we are also looking at the bioethanol sector or the uh, bioenergy sector we should call it and it has experienced rapid growth thanks to our indian institute of petroleum 
Petroleum Research IIPR and of course you have seen Dr. Anjan Ray earlier on our channel. So the IIPR has done research and this is now being adopted in air turbine fuel. The rapid growth of uh, this bioenergy sector with India becoming the third largest producer of bioenergy and consumer of ethanol as well. Now the biotech ecosystem of India actually in 2023 surged by 1,776. So in just last year, 1,776 new startups has come, taking the total number of biotech startups in India to 8,531 biotech startups. Now, what government is doing and what these startups are doing is they're forming collaborations, they are going for global partnerships and all these initiatives is helping maintain the momentum of India's biotech growth trajectory, supported by significant foreign direct investments, funding from BIRAC and of course Department of Biotechnology. Now the bio manufacturing hubs and AI bio hubs are being built and established across the country to bridge the research and commercial manufacturing gaps fostering innovation. So we are look, going to see all of that translating into a lot of employment for all of you. Now the bio economy impact is expected to reach 1.4 to 2.7 trillion dollars by 2050. So we are in 2024. In the next 26 years, India's bio economy impact will be 2.7 trillion dollars. Imagine that's huge. And that will contribute from 6.5 to 12 percent of India's GDP of 2050. And that, that's a huge contribution. And that is why government initiatives such as National Policy on Biofuels, Green Hydrogen Mission is driving this growth. And of course, BIREC and ABLE and our Department of Biotechnology is also doing a great job there. Now, India's diagnostic market, which we have not mentioned till now, and the medical devices sector, that is also driving the growth right now. It is at $12 billion in 2024, and it is driven by advancements in healthcare and need for early disease detection. So there also India is progressing. And now the focus is going to be that India wants to create 35 million, that is 3.5 crore jobs by 2030 in the biotech ecosystem and that's huge and that is where biotechnica is uh, slit, uh, you know targeting its next growth because we know that the industry which is growing at such a huge scale is going to require manpower so all our biotechnica subscribers will get placed there and that is why we are forming a massive network with all these companies and we'll make sure that happens so this is all about the bioeconomy report 2024 let me know in the comment section what is your point of view how do you feel about this bioeconomy report and i will try to include the report pdf below so that you can also read it but remember all these reports can only become real if we all come together and create and contribute towards a supportive collaborative approach towards biotech research thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one until then keep shining take care bye bye